can learn from anything in the world, from any object, a rabbi once told to his disciples. Everything in this world exists to teach us a lesson. Not only the works of the Lord, but also the creations of men provide us with deep wisdom. What does it, for example, the railway teach us? Asked one disciple doubtfully. That by being even a moment late, one might miss everything. And the telegraph, what does it teach us? That every word is accounted for. And the telephone, that what we say here can be also heard there. The 20th of Adar Bet, Shabbat Parah, is a special Saturday of the month of Adar is approaching. Let us bring it even closer by lighting the Shabbat candles. I invite Gail Soul to light the candles also in memory of her parents, Rita and George Soul. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Amen. We are ready to begin, so we open page 130 and try to do what is written. Come, let us sing joyously to God, raise a shout for our rock and deliverer. Please sing along. To God a new song, sing to God all the earth, sing to God, bless God's name, proclaim God's victory day after day. Tell of God's glory among the nations, God's wondrous deeds among all people, for the eternal one is great and much acclaimed. God is held in awe by all divine beings. All the gods of the peoples are mere idols, but the eternal one made the heavens. Glory and majesty are before God. Strength and splendor are in God's temple. Together, let the heavens, heavens rejoice, rejoice and, and the earth exult. Let, let the, the sea, sea and, and all within, within it thunder. The fields and everything in them exult. Then shall all the trees of the forest shout for joy at the presence of the Eternal One, for God is coming. For God is coming to rule the earth. God will rule the world justly and its peoples in faithfulness. Throned on cherubim, each sovereign, peoples tremble, the earthquakes, God is great in Zion, and exalted above all peoples, they praise your name as great and awesome. 
God is holy, almighty ruler who loves justice. It is you who established equity. You who worked righteous judgment in Jacob. Exalt the eternal our God and bow down to God's false footstep. God is holy. Exalt the eternal our God and bow to towards God holy hill for the eternal our God is holy. We are on page 136 singing together Havul Hashem B'nai Elim ascribe to the eternal while all divine beings ascribe to God's glory the God glory and strength. Mizmor le David Psalm 29 Havul Adonai B'nai Elim Havul Adonai Kavod Vaoz Havu Ladonai, Kevod Shemo, Hishta Havu Ladonai, Behadrat Kodesh, Kol Adonai, Al Hamaim, El Hakavod Hirim, Adonai, Adonai, Al Mahim Rabim, Kol Adonai, Bako. Kol Adonai Behadar, Kol Adonai Shover Arazim Vayashaber Adonai Etar Zei Halvanon, Vayar Kidem Kemo Egel Levanon Vesirion, Kemo, Kemo, Kemo Venre Emim. Kol Adonai chotzev lahavot esh, Kol Adonai yachil midbar, Yachil Adonai midbar kadesh, Kol Adonai yacholel ayalot, Vayach esof yearot, Uvhechalo kulo, Omer, Omer, Omer kavod, Adonai lama bule ashav, Vayeshev Adonai melech leolam, Adonai oz leamo, Iten Adonai yevarech et amo, Vashalom, et amo, et amo, Et amo vashalom. May God grant strength to our people. May God grant our people peace. Before singing Lecha Dodi, a small remark on the day that we are in. It's a special Shabbat, Shabbat Para, together with the main reading, which is this year, the chapter Tzav. We also read the chapter Chukat, the beginning of it, the 22 verses that speak about the most un, un understandable ritual of our people, bringing the red heifer uh, out of the tent, uh, of the tent of, um, of the camp and uh, slaughtering it there and bringing it ashes and this serves as uh, the purification offering. And uh, this is very interesting, how much we think that we understand the mitzvot in our lives. Uh, there are mitzvot, very obvious mitzvot, uh, extremely obvious to understand what could be easier uh, to understand why to bring charity, why, because we all can switch the places and become poor one day, but still. But there are some commandments, we call them chukim. Chukim u mishpatim atana Chukim are not as understandable. But there comes the time, our sages teach, when we will understand them, the messianic times, when we will understand the reason behind, uh, hidden behind in each commandment. Also with Mishpatim, it works so. We sometimes think, oh, it's so easy to understand, just give the charity, just give the tzedakah. But we don't know what is in the end, what happens in the end with that money that we give, with that gift that we give. So 
we are still not aware of how much our commandments, our observance of commandments changes the world around us. We are, we are not aware. On Shabbat, we speak about the perfection of the world, about the perfect world, according to the idea of the Creator. We remember how it's meant to be. And thus, we also remember that commandments add something to the world. May it be time in the future that we will all be like kings and queens of our houses, of the world. We will be all at the same level of understanding of kindness, of generosity, with God, with God's help. We're on page 138, singing Lecha Dodi together to bring this day closer, observing Shabbat. One, two, one, two. Let us wish Shabbat Shalom to each other, shake hands, look in the eyes, feel how good it is to be together.
טוב להודות לאדוני. How good it is to sing hymns to your name almost high. טוב להודות לאדוני ולזמר לשמך עליון טוב להודות לאדוני ולזמר לשמך עליון להגיד בבוקר חסדך You have gladdened me by your deeds, O oh God. I shout for, you, for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, eternal one. How very supple your designs. A brute cannot know. A fool cannot understand. Entrances to holiness are everywhere. The possibility of ascent is all the time, even at unlikely times and through unlikely places. There is no place on earth without the presence. I invite us all to stand up for the Chatzi Kaddish, which is on page 144, and Baruch Hu on page 145.
may be seated now. Thank you. We're on page 148, beginning the evening prayer with the first blessing before Shema Israel. Let us recite together in Hebrew. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim Bechokma Poteach She'arim Uvitvuna Meshane Itim ומחליף את הזמנים ומסדר את הכוכבים במשמרותיהם ברקיע כרצונו. בורא יום ולילה גולל אור מפני חושך וחושך מפני אור. הוא מעביר יום ומביא לילה, הוא מבדיל בין יום ובין לילה, אדוני צבאות שמו. אל חי וקיים תמיד ימלוך עלינו לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני המעריב ערבים. Let's recite the second one in English, 150. Everlasting love you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, hukim and mishpatim. Therefore, eternal, our God, when we lie down and we, when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them, for they are our life and the length of our days. Never remove your love from us. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Israel. We stand up for the Shema, we close our eyes, and we are fed by inner light within us. Oh. 
ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך ושננת עם לבניך ודיברת בם בשבתך בביתך ובלכתך עבדך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשערך 155 in the bottom 155 thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God I am your eternal God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God I am your eternal God and met truth. We may be In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage, bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, It has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. Vakodesh, who is like you, O God, among the gods that are worshipped. Blessed are you, Eternal One, for redeeming Israel 
Time and again. 160, we sing and we read and we contemplate on uh, the words of the second prayer, peace, after saying Shema, Ashkiveinu, grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and raise us up, O Sovereign, to life renewed. <laughs> and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Ba'uch ata Adonai Apores sukat shalom aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim and the sons and the daughters of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days God made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. It's Shabbat para, Shabbat, special Shabbat, it comes one week before the last Shabbat of the month, Shabbat HaChodesh. And this is the sign that Pesach is approaching. And Pesach is a time initially of get, getting out of the physical bondage. But now, symbolically, it's also getting the crumbles from our inner selves, from... It's like general cleansing of our souls and it's already time to think about it and to prepare and um, let us do this in this Amidah now through thanking God for the things that we fixed already in our lives let us remember what was wrong with us and what we made better by our conscious intention it's very important to give ourselves some respect for the things that we made better in ourselves. 164, Amida, please rise.
אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחייה כל אתה רב להושיע, משיב הרוח ומוריד הגשם, מזריע השמש ומוריד הטל. מחלקל חיים בחסד, מחייה הכל ברחמים רבים. סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים. ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר. מי כמוך בעל גבורות ומדום אלך, מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישוע ונאמן עד לך חיות הכל. ברוך אתה אדוני מחיה הכל. 172. אתה קידשת את יום השביעי לשמך, תכלית מעשה שמיים וארץ. וברכתו מכל הימים, וקידשתו מכל הזמנים. וכן, כתוב בתורתך, The heaven and the earth were finished and all their array. On the seventh day God finished all the work that God has been doing, and God seized on the seventh day from all the work that has been done. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God seized from making all the work of creation. Eloheinu velohei avoteinu Retzevim luach hateinu Kacheinu v'mitzvotecha V'ten chelkeinu b'toratecha Zapeinu mitubecha V'samcheinu b'shuatecha V'tahelibenu Thank <laughs> you. רצה אדוני אלוהינו בעמך ישראל ובתפילתם באהבה תקבל ותהי לרצון תמיד עבודת ישראל עמך, אל קרוב לכל קוריו, פנה אל עבודיך וכוננו, שפוך רוחך עלינו, ותחזן עינינו בשופך לציון ברחמים. ברוך אתה אדוני, המחזיר שכינתו לציון. מודים אנחנו לך שאתה הוא אדוני אלוהינו ולאהבתנו לעולם ועד. צור חיינו, מגן אישנו, אתה ולדור ודור. Let us thank you and praise you for our lives which are in your hands, for our souls which are in your care, for your miracles that we experience every day and for your wondrous deeds and favors at every time of day, evening, morning, and noon. A good one whose mercies never end, a compassionate one whose kindness never fails, we forever put our hope in you.
ברוך אתה אדוני, הטוב שמך, ולך נאה להודות. שלום רב על ישראל עמך תשים לעולם, כי אתה הוא מלך אדון לכל השלום, וטוב בעיניך לברך את עמך ישראל בכל עת ובכל שעה בשלומך. ברוך אתה אדוני, המברך את עמו ישראל בשלום. Praise the you eternal one who blesses your people Israel with peace. We may now be seated. Let us take a few moments of silence, reflection on the week that passed. It was a busy week for some. It was an extremely successful week for the others. And now, when we are gathered here in the shul, we leave the complicated things in the previous week, and we take only the best. And one of the good things that we have is that we get together sometimes for Purim that we celebrated last Yom Rishon, uh, last Sunday in the shul. What a fun. And I'm sorry that it only happens once a year that we can dress in such a beautiful costumes and get to know each other from a different perspective. It was fun. Thank you all for participating in that. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and here we are, Shabbat. It was a good week. Respected Jewish family, he is a great Torah scholar, spending all his free time in the Kollel, studying the Talmud, then continuing to study at home. And she takes care of the children of the family hearth, and the family hearth. And one day, the wife asks him to take out the rubbish. Sorry, it will take time, I'm not ready, I really need to study Torah. All right. But our Talmud Chacham continued his studies, but then, Having thought it over, he decided to ask his Rosh Yeshiva, the head of the Kollel, a respected Torah sage, Kvodarav, did I do the right thing? My wife asked me to take out the rubbish and I said I couldn't because I studied Torah and I didn't have time. Rosh Yeshiva answered him, Oh, certainly you did everything correctly. You are a great sage, diligently studying the Torah. Torah is the most important thing in our lives. And so the next day, the Rosh Yeshiva knocks on this family's door, enters the kitchen, takes the rubbish bags, and starts to take them out, telling our astonished Talmud Chacham, look, you are very busy with your holy work. You need to study the Torah, so let's do the next thing. I will come every day 
to take out the rubbish for you. In our current Torah portion, Tzav, it talks about a fundamentally important part of our relationships with the Almighty, the order of sacrifices in the Mishkan we built in the desert. Thus, concerning the offering of the Ola in the very beginning of the chapter, the burnt offering, the Almighty commands the priest shall dress in linen raiment, raiment with linen breeches next to his body, and he shall take up the ashes to which the fire had re reduced the burnt offering on the altar and place them beside the altar. Then he shall take off his vestments and put on other vestments and carry the ashes outside the camp to a pure place. We learn that even taking the rubbish and maintaining cleanliness is a sacred, holy task, no less important, honorable than any other, and by no means it is shameful. Already a great lesson in, you know, humility for the proud. But I would like to pay attention to something else here. Purim has passed, the month of Adar is ending, meaning that in less than three weeks, Pesach, the festival of our nation's birth, the festival of liberation from bondage, will begin. With the new moon, we begin to actively prepare our home so that by the morning of the festival, there will be nothing leavened in the house. The physical fulfillment of any Torah commandment reflects on us and on what is around. And this is not just a figure of speech, it's a fact. Any commandment of the Torah is much more than symbolic actions in the physical world. It also reflects on our souls greatly. And fulfilling any commandment gives us much more when performed thoroughly and with intention. Take the cleaning before Pesach, for example. It seems like a ritual action, but the house feels already different afterwards. If only the obvious result mattered, one could hire a cleaning company to scrub everything clean and done. But no, we need to make a serious effort here. Remember a hundred dishes, first of all, out of uh, macaroni uh, pasta, then stock up the sponges, cleaning agents, foil, find how and where or where to kosher the dishes, find where to buy matzah, find the feather, find the candle for the actual ritual on the last day before the holiday, night of the holiday. Surely it takes a lot of time, but without this, how would we feel the arrival of a festival and then in some few more months when Yom Kippur comes, we'll definitely be ashamed a bit. In every commandment of the Torah, there is a great benefit for the soul. If approaching the Pesach cleaning, we listen attentively to ourselves, we can manage not just to clean our homes, but also to extract a wealth of useful realizations and lessons for the future, for our soul, that there was no need to eat cookies in bed, or to walk around the whole house with a sandwich. Because if you walk where, where there are crumbles, when you ate during the year, you have to clean now. So also that external cleanliness is indeed very closely related to the purity within us, as the Torah teaches. Also that the rubbish arises even from the holiest of deeds, and that every priest Occasion, uh, that even the priests occasionally have to humbly take out the rubbish. Taking this opportunity, I invite you, um, everyone, to participate in a workshop of preparation of our community for Pesach, which will take place about a week before the festival. We will notify when exactly. So come along. It will be fun, but also informative and helpful in many ways. Shabbat Shalom. We continue our service with a conclusion of our service on the page 580, uh, 586. Let's do Alein Le I invite Gail Shublé and Roger Shublé um, to help us with the Ark, with another holy duty. Please rise as the Ark opens. Aleinu leshabeach ladon hakol 
לתת גדולה ליוצר בראשית, שלא עשנו כגויי הארצות, ולא שמענו כמשפחות האדמה. שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וגורלנו ככל המונם. ואנחנו קוראים, ומשתחווים ומודים, לפני מלך מלכי המלכים, הקדוש ברוך הוא. שהוא נוטה שמיים ויוסד ארץ, ומושב יקרו בשמיים ממעל, ושכינת עוזו, ושכינת עוזו, בגוב הם רומים, הוא אלוהינו אין עוד, הם את מלכנו אפס זולתו, ככתוב בתורתו. ידעת היום, ידעת היום, ואשב אותה אל לבביך, כי אדוני הוא האלוהים בשמיים ממעל, ועל הארץ, ועל הארץ, מתחת אין עוד. ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ. ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד. ושמו, ושמו, ושמו אחד. But from Bet David, we remember Valerie Chipkin, mother of Ivor Chipkin, Gigi Gadden, father of Davina Gadden and Xenophontos, Louis Myerson, grandfather of Michelle Dagnan, Nathan Keat, father of Jules Keat, 
Ethel Ipstein, mother of Lynn Sherlock, Molly Belzam, mother of Susan Tucker, Betty Cronson, mother of Daryl Cronson, Mick Rubin, father of Alan Rubin, Sheila Tabak, mother of Jack Tabak, and Rita and George Saw, who are my parents. There's no Yotzats from Bet Menorah, Pretoria, but those who passed away recently, Avril Shapiro, friend of Alexandra Schneider. And if anybody has a name they'd like to call out, please do so now. We also remember those who've lost their lives in wars and those who have no one to remember them. Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be for blessing. Please join on page 598. Itgadal veitkadash Amen. יהה שמה רבה מבורך לעולם ולעלמי אלמיה יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנסה ויתדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמה דקודשה בריחו לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירן בעולמה ואמרו אמן יהה שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ואמרו אמן. Seventeenth of April, it's the AGM of Bet David and the Bet David Kahila. You'll find all the information about this in our Adkan. But also a reminder: there's going to be a pre-Pesach matzah bake that's going to be announced, and uh, there's a Bet David communal seder, which we hope is going to happen Monday, the twenty-second of April, is Pesach. Um, the next monthly. Midrashit Yisrael Philosophy Group is going to happen on Saturday, the 20th of April, 2024. Um, and that's the announcements. We conclude our service and we will continue um, at the Kiddush table just after we sing Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Right? <laughs> Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Mm -hmm.